So today what we're looking at is a hybrid insulation system that's made up of a closed cell spray foam. In this case, it's Johns Manville's Corbon 3 product and a spray in fiberglass product called Spider Plus. And so those two systems combined create this hybrid approach to doing wall insulation. Our Corbon 3 spray foam has got an R value of seven per inch. So on average, they're putting in about two inches. So we get R14 just to start. And then that also helps with moisture control. So those things are really important for the hybrid system. In terms of Title 24, a hybrid system like this works really well because it really lets us maximize the amount of R value we can pack into the wall cavity. So this two by six framed wall cavity insulation is gonna be right about R29. You know, if you think about what you would normally get from just like a fiberglass product, you're gonna usually get about R21, 22 in a two by six wall typically. And so you're right, 29 is a big boost. What that lets us do for Title 24 is kind of get to the compliance Point that we need a lot easier. When they install the spider, the fiberglass isn't just dry. So we actually do mist um, a tiny bit of water onto that uh, material as it goes in, and that kind of helps it stick to itself and stick into the wall cavity. The amount of moisture we put in there, though, actually is quite low. It's around 5% or so uh, by weight. And what that means on the plus side is that product dries very quickly. So we can see right as he's going in, right, he sprays the spider in and um, right, and it, he fills it in, working up from the bottom, right, fills it a little bit thicker than the wall is. But you can see right, it just, the, the product kind of sticks to itself. It goes, uh, fills in, any of the irregularities. So we can see now that he's gotten the, the spider installed, it kind of overfilled all the wall cavities. Now he comes back over with the scrubber and you can see it just kind of scrubs it all off, just nice and flush to the front of the, of the studs, right? Giving this really, really nice, clean, well insulated look. with uh, the, the product here that he scrubbed off, right? He's gonna use this vacuum line and vacuum all of this up. It's gonna go back into the hopper on the truck and everything that you see here will actually get re, it'll end up in the wall over here, right? So there's not gonna be any waste from this product. Well, so now that it's all, all kind of done, right? The spider's been blown in, he scrubbed it off clean, he vacuumed up all of the excess. And so now this wall is done. It's ready to be inspected, right? When we just look at it, right? Everything is filled in beautifully from a QII perspective, right? This is gonna get uh, good marks, right? They should get full kind of QII credit for this wall. And it's, you know, and it's well insulated. Like I was saying before, right? The combination of the spray foam and the spider in this wall is delivering about an R29 in a two by six wall. So huge thermal performance out of this. And this is, it's ready for inspection and drywall anytime. One of the really good things that a system like this does in a climate like Lake Tahoe, where they have winter, right? It gets to be cold in here. Normally uh, to control condensation in a wall like this, we would have to cover the inside with a vapor retarder that could be plastic sheeting, that could be a smart vapor retarder. There's a handful of products out there. By doing the hybrid system, what we've done is we've warmed the wall as kind of the, how we describe it in kind of building science circles. So the first surface that any moisture or humidity sees is the spray foam, right? So that's more to the inside of the wall. There's some insulation outside of that. And so it lets us avoid needing to use a vapor retarder because of having the spray foam on the inside and reducing our condensation risks.